Hello and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today I'm going to answer a question that is commonly asked by viewers and that is, why is my houseplant not growing? So there are a variety of factors that could be at play in terms of why your houseplant isn't growing. I'm going to answer a bunch of them right now so that you can try to figure out what is going on. The first thing I'd like to cover is this. It depends on the time of year for many houseplants. So if you are in wherever you're living in the world, your winter months, Houseplants slow down growth, most houseplants slow down growth tremendously in the winter months. You might think, wow, that, that's kind of strange because I'm growing them inside and I'm not living outside in the cold. Uh, however, plants, it's just the way they're made. They do know what season it is and they will slow down growth during those seasons. We also still, even though we have, we heat our homes generally speaking or keep them warm and insulated, we um, we still it is still cooler in our ha homes at certain times of the year and especially in the winter months right so they will slow down growth at that time so if it is the winter months you might want to give your plant a little bit of time and see if once you hit like late February March depending on where you live how cold it is and when it warms up but basically when you start to have the spring outdoors you should start to see your plant having its own spring indoors is spring growth so that's a big consideration. I do have a video on the, um, uh, the how seasons do affect houseplant growth. So I'll put that link. Okay, so other reasons why your houseplant may not be growing watering, correct watering, really important. And this also ties in with um, uh, diseases in terms of root rot. Okay, so you want to number one water your house plants with warm to tepid water if you use a cold water on your plants it can shock the roots and it can also cause root dieback when that occurs you will have less roots in the soil and then what will happen is the plant can very likely get root rot from this root dieback because you have two little roots in the soil and then that it's like the the roots are in a lake and the roots will continue to die back and the plant will continue to get but actually besides not growing it will start to sh shrink in its pot so you want to make sure that you are a uh, watering with warm to tepid water <clears throat> and be not over watering so please use a moisture meter i have videos two videos on using them use a moisture meter to, to see if a plant really does need watering before you water it or your finger there are some other ways you pick up the pick up the plant it's still heavy it still has water in it so that is important because the more you overwater a plant the slower it's going to grow because it is just getting too much water. Some people think it's the opposite. The more I water it, it's just gonna suck up, up the water and it's gonna to continue to grow, but that's not what happens. The plant will continue to slow down in growth, eventually even start losing growth and tr even shrinking and starting to lose leaves. Now, here's an example of a plant that is in the wrong size container. This is a new plant that I got, and I got it because this is a calathea that's a more rare form, so I, snapped it up however I will be repotting it immediately because this is more like two-thirds or three-quarter pot to one-third or one-quarter plant and you want the opposite you want three-quarters plant to one-quarter pot or two-thirds plant to one-third pot um, ideally the two-third one-third but if you get a plant, if you have a plant that is in the three quarter, one quarter, three quarter plant, one quarter pot, it can go away a while before you repot. And important too, in the winter months when you don't wanna be repotting, just keep that plant, make sure to water it until springtime or late winter when you can repot it at that time. So this one shows you a nice ratio here, a good ratio of top 
plant to, to bottom there uh, on that on the plant. So that is really um, important. An important thing to um, to keep in mind is that that the size of the pot. It also has to do with how much soil you have in there. You want two thirds uh, root to one third soil. So what's going on below ground just as important as what's going on above ground. So checking those things out when your plant is just sitting there is really important. It may be that you just need to pot up into a smaller size pot and that plant will start to grow. I have a video on the two thirds, one third, and I show in that video, I'll put the link here, show in the video how I had a plant that was in the wrong size container and it never grew. It just sat there. It didn't die because it wasn't in too, too so such a big pot that it, that it got root rot, but it just sat there because it was just the wrong size pot. So that's really important. A lot of times when a plant isn't growing, that is the problem is the wrong size pot and then the watering factoring into that as well. Okay, so drainage, you want good drainage. If your plant is bogged down by a lot of wet, going back to the root rot, you're gonna most likely get root rot because roots need air to survive as well as moisture. And when they don't have enough, they will just, the plant will just sit there and it may succumb to root rot and die, or it could just sit there for indefinitely just sit there in this wet soil, depending on how hardy of a species you're growing. So good drainage. I have a pumice product, which is not that one, <laughs> uh, this one here. So I do have a pumice product. It's, it creates drainage in your soil. So if you think that your plant may not have a good drainage, repot it and put in some pumice and it will likely start to grow for you as air gets to the roots. Okay, so another reason that plants may not be growing is lighting, proper lighting. If you do not have sufficient light for plants, they aren't going to get to, they won't be photosynthesizing enough and they won't therefore have energy to grow because plants need light for energy and that energy from the light from the photosynthesizing is what makes plants grow. A lot of people think, oh, fertilizer makes plants grow. Fertilizer gives plants nutrients to grow more healthily and may keep them healthy, but it does not cause them to get energy, the energy they need to grow. It is the lighting. That's why you can be fertilizing like crazy a plant that is in two not enough light in too dim of conditions and that plant is not going to grow for you. So if you don't have medium light, at least medium bright light in your home, which a lot of plants like, at least that medium light, then either grow plants that like lower light conditions or get some full spectrum lighting and add that to your home uh, garden to your indoor garden. Full spectrum light bulbs come in all different shapes and sizes. They can go in just about any fixture. Full spectrum simulates day length, daylight. So that is really important for your plants to give them that really good light so that they will thrive. So and that's another big consideration. Okay, fertilizing, I did mention fertilizing. So most houseplants at some point will require some fertilizing. Uh, this is not a, one of the top reasons why they don't grow. However, it can be a contributing factor in why your plants may not be growing. So if you have never, bought, never fertilized a plant or haven't fertilized it for a couple years, it needs some fertilizer. Most likely at that point, it also needs to be repotted. So repotting into fresh soil with some fertilizer could get that plant to start growing again. And as you do so, putting it in the correct size pot and you may see lots of good growth coming from that plant afterwards. So I do have a uh, fertilizer, an organic fertilizer um, that there um, on my website, I'll put the link below. That's a, a good choice. Something, or give it something organic is really a good choice. Organics feed the soil and when you have healthy, vibrant, alive soil, that will cause your plants to, what do you know, start growing. It's when you have a 
soils that are, have a lot of chemical fertilizer in them, you start having problems with root dieback and the plants being uh, having various symptoms from it. Have videos on that as well. So I would go organic if you, so that could be another reason why you're having some problems with, not, with the growth is is the type of fertilizer you're using and how often you're fertilizing and how much you're fertilizing. Always go with p package directions. Don't More fertilizer will cause problems. It's not like, I'm gonna give it a lot of fertilizer and then get it to grow. You can very well cause it to have even more problems and stop growing, stop growing altogether and even succumb to um, diseases like root rot. Okay, so that's the fertilizer. Another reason, and that is pH. So we have uh, this guy here, this plant here, and um, if this plant is, is in a series I have on pH. So if you say you've gone through all these other reasons that I just talked to you about in terms of the plant, and your plant is not growing, and you still, you've done, you've checked off all these different boxes, you still don't know what's going on. It could be the pH in the soil. Uh, if the pH is off in the soil, um, according to what that plant needs, the plant cannot take up any nutrients. It can't photosynthesize very well. It is, so it's not gonna do well and it will be stunted. This plant was a lot more stunted, having all kinds of issues before, had uh, the leaves didn't look as colorful and vibrant. And it's, uh, we uh, did correct the pH and the plant is now doing much better and will continue to do better as it, as it grows and I will be as I check the pH to make sure of that as well. So keep in mind too that pH correction will take some time. So, but however, check out that playlist. Uh, if, um, if you are having, like I said, symptoms of no growth and you've checked off all the other, other boxes, this may very well be your problem, PA, incorrect pH. So that is another consideration. Uh, a lot of times I will consider that last, but, um, uh, but you could consider it during the whole, your, the whole thing here because it is a very important factor and it can cause a lot of problems for plants to be in incorrect pH. That is it for why is my houseplant not growing? Thank you for stopping by today. Please remember to leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.